Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you another Starmate Station review. Today we are taking a look at Space Station 6 by Kevakins. And this is his station, from what I gathered on his download page, it is uh, unfinished. So the review will only be going over what I currently see in front of me. Uh, I will be, you know, commenting on things that are, you know, potentially not done. So keep that in mind as I go over this station. So right off the bat, I have to say that it's a little bit of an unusual design because it's quite flat, but that's okay. It kind of gives me the impression that this is supposed to be some sort of warehouse. These arms on the side, I do believe, are fitted with Astro Techno beams, or at least that's what I would assume. It does look like there is a module there that will be firing out, and there are cameras embedded into the side, which would uh, contribute to that. It does look like there's some blocks over here that are not intended to be over here, and there's something over here as well. Real quick, let me just take a look at what this is. I don't think this is supposed to be here. <laughs> I really don't. What is that? What is that? Is that the turret? Was there a turret attached to this thing? This looks like a turret from another, another space station that I've seen. That's a little strange. Okay, we're going to ignore that. And uh, we're going to take a walk through the station. So, uh, real quick... Uh, you know, you got these um, these uh, external landing pads, they look pretty cool, and I like the fact that he used yellow instead of blue, uh, like on the previous station. Uh, it's a bit different, you know, a different color to put on your landing pads, and I guess that's, you know, warranted, because you should be cautious when landing your spaceship, I suppose. Quite a number of uh, beacon blocks, I've just realized, and it's not like that's a bad thing at all. That's actually kind of neat. I haven't seen beacon blocks used so, uh, so much on a station so far, I don't think. Oh, these uh these arm sections here, this like uh, gantry. This looks really cool, and I like the way he uh, made this shape a little bit uh, unorthodox. You know, it's all over the place. It's a little chunky looking, and that's kind of cool. I really like the way that looks for that little section there. So uh, on the external bit of this uh, face of the station, we can see that there's uh, these protruding uh, glass structures, these rooms that extend out a little bit and give you quite a bit of a viewing space from inside the station. <clears throat> Again, we can see why the station is unfinished. Um, and there's quite a large window on this side as well, which we will see from the inside here now. And it does look quite cool. It's quite a big window, and I really like that. Big windows, awesome. I love big windows. Um, check this out. Very large room, it's very dark, but again, you get a sense of just how large this station is. It'll take quite a bit of time to walk around and explore the entire thing if you were in astronaut mode. And I really like this. It gives the impression that this is supposed to be some sort of warehouse for the storage of the station. It is a trade guild station after all. There's an elevator leading up to a second floor with entrances and doorways uh, connecting to it on the right side there. Very blue. I'm quite impressed with how blue that is. I mean, I've never seen a blue light give off that dark of a blue color, but that's really neat. I like that. And I wonder just how well lit this room would be once it was finished. So if we come into here, we can see there's more open spaces, quite large. I assume the roof has not been put in. There appears to be some sort of ramp here leading up to a very large hallway that supposedly is separate from the rest of these structures. I'm not sure what these are all about. It looks like we've got some massive fuel lines connecting it up right here. To these red boxes. Not sure what these are intended to serve as. They're a little bit funky looking. There's a doorway here. And forgot, oh my good god. That is a lot of shield blocks. Okay. If we go up the elevator, we get up here and... Quite a number of shield blocks. Now, again, it's hard to, you know, give a proper review on this because this station is considered unfinished and you can see that. But, what I am going to say is that I'm not sure I can agree with these shield blocks being exposed like this. While it is cool to use, and effective to use, uh, the animated textures of some of these blocks uh, in your walls and things like that, just having an entire chunk of them laying out in the open does not really do it for me. It's, you know, it gets repetitive, it, it, it indicates laziness, to be honest, uh, in your, you know, design efforts. 
or efforts to conceal them because not those necessarily don't have to be shown and even though it's got a cool texture even though it's moving even though it looks great uh, you know having a million of them on your screen at once doesn't really help you at all uh, so there's that coming out here we can see again that this is all very open uh, this uh, platform which appears to have some sort of elevator here not sure why that's there oh it's the doorway that's right okay there's a doorway here. The doorway leads out to the back end. I assume there's a big airlock there. And uh, I don't think we've uh, seen this half. Ooh, look at this! A big old crane. Nice. This is like railroad, uh, seaside port style of crane. Got the cabin here for the controls. There's a lot of cameras here. I don't think they specifically actually would be doing anything in this case because it is on a station you can't move this thing but it's got the uh, the end stoppers and the wheels I will say that uh, actually a, a, a large crane like this would not be using wheels but it would be riding along a track so maybe if this was indented into the ground you know and there was uh, the wheels could then go into the ground and that would work but having them just roll around like that seems like it would just kind of not follow this I'm not sure uh, uh, yeah, that looks like it's supposed to be a large storage area, and of course there is a door here, a massive door that is... Is that two blocks thick? No, it's not. I'm just seeing things. That literally looked two blocks too thick to me, I don't know why. Uh, the massive door here. And I suppose this is not only a repairing arm system, but, uh, the gantry that holds onto the ships and unloads them. Here we can see some more systems of this sh station. Oh! Is this a ship? No way is this a ship. This is thrusters. Maybe it is a ship. Oh my god. Is there a way? I'm pressing arrow keys. Nothing's happening. I'm pressing space. Nothing's happening. Okay, maybe it's not a ship. For some reason I thought it was a ship, but I guess not. Uh, I'm just being stupid. <laughs> anyway. It looks pretty cool, I have to say that I do like these details on the edges here. You know, that looks really neat, and maybe it's supposed to indicate that it could look like a ship. I mean, there are thrusters there, but that again could just be there for decorative purposes. I have no idea. So, um, all in all, even though it's unfinished, I have to say I like where the idea is going. It looks like a big warehouse with a lot of open space for cargo containers and all sorts of stuff. I'm liking things like this big window here. Uh, you know, the, overall, from what I'm seeing, oh, could use a uh, Penta there. Or no, not a Penta, a Tetra. Looks like uh, that was the only option at the time, though. I'm not sure if that's actually true or not. I don't remember if Pentas and Tetras were included by the time I started my station or whatnot. But anyway, based on what I am seeing, I'm going to give the uh, external design a, uh, uh, I'd say an 8 out of 10. And that's just because, uh, again, it needs a little bit more work, it needs some uh, cleaning up, but other than that, there are some really cool design elements being thrown in there. Things like this gantry, these little oval-shaped uh, landing pads look pretty cool. You know, he's breaking up the surfaces by throwing out these uh, windowed areas. It looks really good. The interior could lose a little bit more work, uh, based on what I see some things could be done better so i'm going to give it a six out of ten but again keep in mind that this station is not finished and uh overall effectiveness it does look like a trading guild station and i'm going to say a nine out of ten on that it looks really good and i'm uh quite happy to have uh reviewed it so thanks for watching that was space station six with kevakins uh as the builder and I hope you enjoyed it. Check out other stuff on my channel, subscribe for more, and I will see you for the next station review.